I scooped up this little jewelry I'm at a rummage sale for 30 or 40 bucks a few weeks ago, and I've been waiting to decide what to do with it. I decided she needed to be lavender, so I painted it up with a mixture of white linen, cottage colors, and a little bit of crockery. I did that on a live video, and then I grabbed this Prima transfer and decided to use a piece of it. You can get all the supplies on my website, rusticrehabs.com. I decided to lay it down flat because it makes it a little bit easier. I took it off the backing and now I'm matching it up. I'm only using one piece. I'm using the center piece of that big transfer tube so I can use two other pieces on other projects. Now I'm grabbing my plastic transfer tool, which is also sold on my website and is amazing. And I'm using the corners to really burnish this off to get it to stick to the piece. It's at this point that I see that it's going to be a little bit wide, so I start to cut off parts of it and save it for another project. When I get between the doors and the crevices, I push really carefully to get it to adhere, and then I'll show you how I cut it with a razor blade in between the drawers. Some people like to cut the pieces with the scissors and measure and do all of that. You can do whatever you would like. This is what has worked really well for me over the years. See how I'm using the corner of the tool to almost score it in between? That helps when you're gonna cut it soon. At the bottom, I decide I don't want it to overlap, so I'm grabbing a razor blade and I am cutting it, trying to keep it kind of flush. I got a little bit of the transfer where I didn't want it, so I'm grabbing my sand block and sanding some of that off, but I decide to change something up later, so it doesn't matter anyway. Now I'm burnishing it all over with my fingers and deciding where I need to trim. When I trim with the razor blade, I am going up as high under the top drawer as possible so that I get extra to come onto the bottom drawer and fold it under. That way, it's sort of tricks the eye into thinking that there is no gap. It's hard to explain, but if you see it in person, you can see how it kind of folds under and there's more color. And then this important step of going and burnishing in between all of them so that it lays down. Now I grab my plum pudding from JRV and DIY. It's a one-step paint. Mix it up good, put on a couple of coats, and watch it do its thing. I wasn't originally planning to do this, but I'm so glad I did. And then I do the top lid as well, and it really helps pull it all together for me. I'm sealing the front of the piece with Sweet Pickens Matte Poly, and that's to protect the transfer. I'm only doing this part, and I'll do a couple of quick coats, and then we'll be finishing up. As a reminder here, she is before and meet Becca. She is so cute, I can't stand it. Come see her in the shop. 